Hello UT and hello the world, I'm your host Andrew Rosas. I love TV. We truly are in a golden age of scripted television. And one of my favorite shows on AMC was about a group of enterprising scoundrels who clawed their way to the top, hell-bent on selling America the best product at any price. No, that's a good show too. No, I'm talking about Mad Men. The hit show that remembered America back in the good old days, when men wore suits, and, well, that was, that was about all that was good, actually. Mad Men had a huge impact on modern culture, from fashion to advertising, and even changed hipster drinking habits, making an old-fashioned no longer a thing of the past. A lot of work went into making the show the captivating historical fiction that it was. A lot of research, craftsmanship, and study went into each episode to make it ring true. So what happens to all this material after a show ends? Typically, that production work is sold off at auction, which is how I got all the fan mail for the sitcom Just the Ten of Us. Ah. But thanks to a generous donation from show creator Matthew Weiner, the Harry Ransom Center is now home to a ton of Mad Men production material. And here to tell us about this awesome collection at the HRC is curator of film Steve Wilson. So Steve, how did UT even come to get this collection? Back in about 2015, Matthew Weiner, uh, the, the creator of Mad Men, was uh, attending the Austin Film Festival during the last season of Mad Men. And he was there and kind of depressed about how the show was going to end. And he was concerned that um, all of the scripts and, and costumes and set pieces and all of these things that they had accumulated uh, during the production of the show, um, he was concerned that all of that may very well be auctioned off for you know whatever they could get for it. Which is, and that's common practice now. Uh, movies and television shows do that all the time. So uh, he was at a cocktail party and and. Uh, uh, talking about this, and it turns out that the person he was talking to was a man named Michael Weber, who was Robert De Niro's former assistant. And we have the De Niro papers here. And Michael said, you should go to the Ransom Center and, and check them out. Uh, they, this is the kind of thing that they collect. A show like Mad Men, with its amazing attention to detail, must have quite a bit of production material. So what makes up this collection? Well, it's, a, it's 150 bankers boxes. Uh, plus, uh, we haven't really gotten into the count yet, but we're thinking 50 to 75 small hand props and uh, 12 costumes. The boxes contain uh, the various versions of the script for every episode of, of all seven seasons. So it's 92 hour long episodes. And then there are some we're estimating about 5,000 DVD-Rs with uh, the daily footage from the shows. Um, I've seen gag reels, uh, I've seen screen tests, uh, things like that. With all this talk about Mad Men, I should say to all the kids out there, smoking isn't cool. It just looks and feels exactly like that. So the Harry Ransom Center is known for its film collections, but how is a TV show collection different? Most of our collection is film related and there are a lot of similarities between Mad Men and a normal feature film, but there's also a lot of uh, differences, especially uh, with the writers and how, how a script is developed. So I think we're, we're really excited about the uh, possibilities for research and, and just documenting uh, the evolution of uh, film, because uh, I think this is, this is the way it's going in a lot of ways. So um, we're really excited to have the, have the collection here. And who will have access to this collection? Oh, any, anyone can come and, and access, this, um, access our collections in general. I know that UT just received this production material, so when will this collection be on display or available for study? We expect to start cataloging very soon. Um, we expect it to take about a year. Um, it might be less, it might be a little more. My thanks to Steve Wilson for visiting with us and telling us about this awesome collection for one of TV's best shows. I can't wait to go to the Harry Ransom Center and see it for myself. Because the Harry Ransom Center isn't a spaceship. It's a time machine. It takes us backwards and forwards to a place we ache to go again. 
Whew, sorry, I got lost there for a second. Hey, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, like us on Facebook. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Andrew Rosas, and follow the Texas X's as well. As always, I'm your host, Andrew Rosas, reminding you to stay hooked.